Hello dolphin fans and welcome back to Aqua and Orange. My name is Marissa Marino and I am so excited to be coming to you on this beautiful Monday to talk about that amazing win at the Jets on Black Friday in MetLife Stadium winning against our division rival 34 to 13. And I'm sure you are as excited about it as I am. And there was so much to talk about with this game. And so we are going to talk today about the offense and how they held up against that defense of the Jets. We're going to talk about our defense and how they stepped up and showed out. We'll hit on some injuries, some balling out stats, and that beautiful Hail Mary. So let's get right into it. To talk about the Offense first, Tua Tungavailoa went for 246 yards. This was one of his lower passing games as normally he's been averaging about 300 or more yards per game. However, it was his 20th consecutive game with a touchdown, which is the current leading uh, stat in the NFL. So kudos to Tua on that. Tua had a lot of amazing plays. He's had some dime, just darts uh, to his receivers in this game. The one thing I will say, though, that concerned me about this game is that at the end of the uh, second quarter, Tua threw two picks, one by Brandon Eccles, went in for a touchdown to make the game 10-6 with the Jets scoring six off of that interception. And for me, these are things that we have to tighten up. I'm hoping that Tua gets these interceptions out of his system. And it concerns me because the teams we've been playing, you know, we had three turnovers this week, three turnovers last week. But these teams we've been playing aren't that great offensively and haven't been converting as many points off of the turnovers. When we get into these last stretch of games with the Ravens, with the Cowboys, you know, um, with uh, the Bills, we cannot have these turnovers and expect to win these ball games. So I'm hoping that Tua and Mike McDaniel are going to find a way to clean that up because that is probably my biggest area of concern coming out of this game. However, everybody on the else on the offense did an amazing, amazing job. Jalen Waddell had 114 yards. Tyreek Hill, 102 yards. Raheem Mostert had 94 yards and 20 carries. I mean, this offense was really strumming and humming and going on all cylinders. And I was really proud of our boys for showing up and showing out. So again, a lot to be happy for with the offense, but some really big key concerns about these turnovers that we need to be addressed. So getting into uh, one of the awesome plays of the game, I'm sure you've heard about it, but there was that Hail Mary. And no, you're not hearing me wrong. It wasn't a Hail Mary. We're calling this a Hail Mary. As at the end of the second quarter, with a few seconds left on the clock, Tim Boyle used that arm strength and threw it for a Hail Mary into the end zone, hoping one of his receivers would snatch it. But lo and behold, that did not happen. And our own Javon Holland grabbed that ball and ran it back 99 yards for a touchdown. What an amazing play. I mean, when he caught that ball and he, you know, ran past 10 different defenders, I was standing up and I was like, go, go, go. And he did. Oh, it was amazing. I love to see that. I haven't seen a play like that in forever. So super stoked and happy for Javon Holland with that. Um, great, great to see. So next, we're kind of going to talk about some of the uh, things we had going well on defense. Christian Wilkins, six and a half sacks on the season. He had two sacks in this game. This is actually his season. Um, he's never had this many sacks in a season. And we still have six games left, which is crazy. We had six different people get a touch on the quarterback in this game on our defense. I mean, what an amazing job they did showing up in this game. I mean, I couldn't be more proud. Um, our defense, I, I would put them against anybody right now, and I would feel very confident in their capabilities for sure. One of the more saddening things about this game is that Jalen Phillips did injure himself in this game. And, oh, man, tough break. Achilles tear. You saw it happen on MetLife turf. It was a non-contact injury. And what a devastating blow for the Miami Dolphins defense. He brought so much to the pass rush. Emmanuel Ogba is stepping in for him. 
for him. And um, Dolphins fans everywhere, I'm sure, were just mourning the loss of this amazing, amazing defensive player who literally just last week had his first um, interception. So, um, you know, I uh, I feel for him, and I hope he has a speedy, speedy recovery. In the meantime, though, we are going to need to step up in that, um, and I hope Emmanuel Ogba can do that. Um, I will say that MetLife Turf, people have been talking about it. Since 2020, there's been 10 serious injuries on that turf, um, which is a really big deal. Six of them ACL tears, three of them Achilles tears. And so I don't know what's going on with the field at MetLife, but it's definitely something that needs to be looked at. You know, Aaron Rodgers, that's where he suffered his injury as well at the beginning of the season. So Really tough break. I was just so ready to get our guys the heck off of that field and just go home safe and sound. Um, so that so that's sad, but you know we will move on. We will persevere. Um, so I mean, this team to me is is starting to really come together as a whole package. Um, I'm really starting to see it in the beginning of the season. The defense wasn't up to snuff. And the offense was humming. The offense has slowed down a little bit. And the defense is really firing on all cylinders. But I think we're slowly starting to get it really together and all get in sync as a unit. The biggest thing that I want to see, again, I will reiterate, is us really focus on being cautious with the ball. I was talking to my dad who came in for Thanksgiving. And I said, you know, you don't really see Tua throw away the ball much. I mean, it's either... When he gets nervous and he gets pressured in that pocket, we see interceptions, fumbles, or we see um, a sack. And, you know, I think making those smart decisions, you know, looking what player one's not there, player two's not there, it is okay to throw that ball away. And I I really hope to start seeing more of that from him. Um, but I was just so excited with this W. Um, it did put us in first place in the AFC until the Sunday games came on. But your Miami Dolphins are now 8-3 and three on the season and couldn't be more proud of our boys. So I look forward to coming to you to talk about the Commanders game later in the week. And in the meantime, enjoy your win and go Dolphins!